Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so we are freezing our balls off right now, and we are overloaded, meaning that we can't walk. Um, because I just gathered like a fuck ton of wood, so we're gonna just dump some of the wood out before we freeze out here. Uh, let's let's draw ten. And we're gonna go back inside. We're gonna start a fire, and then we're gonna slowly move the wood back and forth if we have to. And also, we gotta set up uh, our little sleeping bag. I got, I, I did promise you guys I will uh, go to that bridge that we found, but um, unfortunately, it's dark out, so we gotta, we gotta set up some fire here. So let's get to it. If I can reach this fire barrel, I'll uh, help us a lot if we make it. There we go. Um, let's use our cardboard matches, and we'll use the for firewood. Hopefully, it lights, because uh, we definitely need some fire going. Come on, come on, almost there, almost there. Come on, come on. Damn it! Come on. Freezing my balls off here. Come on. Start you. Start. Like, definitely in a zombie apocalypse, or just like. Like, in case I need a fire, I think having a fire starter around would be amazingly handy. Like, even if it's just like flint and steel like that, that would be pretty good, just to have around. There we go. Seven hours, that's uh, that should be good enough for us. Mm, let's find our torch here. Oh, it's ruined, okay. We can, uh, we can harvest that. So it looks like uh, once it's ruined, we can kind of recycle it, but at the same time, like we spend like some cloth and some kerosene doing it. So it might not be a good idea to have a lot of these. Let's light it on fire, and let's go and collect some wood that we've dropped on the ground, just so we have enough. Uh, just so we have enough for the rest of the night. I'm not too sure uh, how much fire, fire we're going to need until uh, I hit tab. But uh, let's collect the wood, go inside, and hit tab. I think that's the uh, good plan right now to do it. Of course it's freaking dark out and it's snowing. Take. 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 Should be enough for 12 hours, I think. I don't think we're gonna be staying that long. I think we're gonna just pretty much survive as long as possible for the night. Or keep the fire going for as long as possible. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I was aiming for. Cool. Um, let's eat some food. Set up our bedroll here. There we go. Bedroll. Um. Let's warm up pork and beans. Okay, so it's it's 12 o'clock in the morning, so we better eat this and uh, go to bed, I guess. Um. Pork and beans. We're gonna eat this. And. We're gonna drink this. And we're gonna go to bed. Cause, uh, fuck. Oh, sweet. What the fuck? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Um. Yeah, let's go to sleep and wake up at. 6 o'clock. Hopefully, we don't starve. 
And hopefully we have enough fuel in the morning to uh, cook a meal. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cook a, cook a meal here. Uh, let's, let's cook the uh, soup that's already opened. Sweet tomato soup. And let's eat the tomato soup. And drink said water. That's cool. So we've pretty much lightened the load by a lot. Just because of this. So let's carry on. And I do believe. I do believe that this thing's ruined. Let's harvest that, and let's not worry about making torches ever, ever again, because fuck that. I think uh, having the kerosene on me with the uh, kerosene lamp would be better. Let's refuel. Um, is there anything else I need to repair before we leave? Uh, let's repair this. We do have some for firewood somewhere around. Um, let's see, can we repair our pry bar? No, we can't. Alright, so we're gonna go outside, grab some wood, and repair our hatchet just in case. Waiting on the out outdoors here. Come on. Come on. And it's a lovely morning. For firewood. Um, let's pair that with scrap metal. Hopefully, uh, it gets done. Sweet. So, is that 81? 19%? I don't really, really need that 19%. Another beautiful morning in the long dark. Uh, I think the uh, I think the road's this way. Cause I know we came from that direction with the uh, with the barn or the shed there as a reference. But um, I did remember seeing like a little bridge somewhere over here that we should oh, check out. Made it through another night. Oh, made, made it through another night, and we are at day 21, 23 hours, 24 minutes. Which means we're coming up on day 22 pretty soon here. Which is pretty good, because um, I read the achievements and it said at 25 days we'll get an achievement. So hopefully uh, we get that one done. I doubt we'll get that done, but I don't know. I hopes, considering that we've uh, survived 20 days. On easy. <laughs> like, I, I love just like doing that. It's just like, well, that that worked well. Except we got eaten by wolves. <laughs> I just like, just like kidding around sometimes. Especially like in bad times. It's always good to joke around. Have a little fun. Just to get the mind off things. Especially that guy who died in the barn. On the upside, though, I think uh, give us some leather in a way. Not that we skinned him or anything. I'm just saying, like his uh, workbench gave us some leather. Oh, there's there's the bridge right here. If I can uh, I can just climb up top the snowbank here. Come on, come on. There we go. That's kind of cool. It looks like it had. Heads back the other way. Yeah, it looks like it kind of like winds around and goes back to the uh, village back there. So I think I think safe bet is a uh, to walk across this field. I guess maybe there's something across the, on the other side of the field. So looks like there's snow banks on that side. So we could follow that because it looks kind of like a road. Hmm. I feel safer on, on a paved road, but let's take a risk and go this way. 
I think, uh, I think going this way would, uh, be pretty interesting. And to be honest, I've never actually went camping, like, by myself or with people. Like, it's kind of like one of those things I really want to, I want to do. But at the same time, like, um, I kind of want to experience it with other people. Just in case, like, if I get hurt or anything, they can, uh, they can help me. Like, it's never a good idea to go camping by yourself. And unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm a lonely bastard. So lonely. So lonely. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, uh, I, like, I kind of want to go camping sometime. Like, something outdoorsy that requires me to make fire or sleep outside. That'd be kind of neat. And also, uh, I'll make good use of all the, uh, equipment that I've pretty much bought recently. I think in the last couple episodes we've talked about non equipment co op, outdoors equipment, stuff like that. Like I kinda wanna use use some of that stuff. Like in just a recreational environment instead of using it for work. Like it's one thing to use it for work related purposes, but then there's another thing about like doing it by yourself and just enjoying it. Like, of course, like, you can become a cop, and you get, like, a gun, but then you're not allowed to use the gun, because if you use the gun, bad things happen. But then, like, if you go on a shooting range or something, you get, you, you get a gun, and then you get to shoot it, and it's fun for a little while, and then you put it away, go home. Like, a, like it's always good to, to find something recreational that you like to do. And try and like get a job closer to that recreational thing, because from from how I see it, like if like if if you like doing math on the side, like just as a hobby, then you should really get into like accounting or engineering or or, or like something related to your hobby, because then you you'd enjoy it. I think you would enjoy it as a hobby and as like a professional occupation. I, I guess, like, that's why some people like doing YouTube and all that stuff, too. Like, they like... They like making podcasts. They like talking about stuff, so they make podcasts. Or they want to share what they like about video games, so they just make a YouTube account and show you video games. Or they go on Twitch, or stuff like that. Like, I guess, like... Maybe I should find something closer to that, I guess. Like maybe I should like get a job at video game magazine and just review video games. I'm not much of a writer, but I can play video games. Is that even a qualification? Just like, just like, so you want to work at our our video game magazine? What what can you do? And I say, I like playing video games. Question mark. Like, would, would that really get me hired, or would? Having experience get me hired. It's like, yeah, I got a bachelor's degree in journalism. And they're like, okay, you're hired. But would they say the exact same thing if I said, like, I played video games for 12 years? Like, would that get me hired? I'd, that would be, uh, would be interesting. Man, I can't believe it. Like, this map is huge. I know we've walked. Somewhere over there, and we're here now. We're like pretty much in the middle of this open vastness that is, I think it's called Pleasant Valley or something like that. It's, to admit, this is a really huge map. I, like, if we were on coastal highway, like, we'd be far out of the coast by now. We're, we'd be probably walking on thin ice or something like that. Like, just imagine, like, this game going even bigger than this. I would like to see a game that would actually go, like, the entire, like, pretty much square kilometer by square kilometer of the Earth. Like, you pretty much start a zombie apocalypse on Earth in a video game. 
Yeah, it's pretty much a world representation. You just spawn like somewhere, and you just start. Like you don't know where you are, but like you look at signs and stuff like that, they'll kind of give you like a brief like a good estimate of where you are, but like you won't exactly know where you are. Like you could land in Europe and then you just see like Dutch words everywhere and then you're like, I could be either be in Poland or Germany. Don't know which. But uh we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> That'd be kinda cool. Just as like a little zombie apocalypse kind of thing. Or like a war game kind of scenario. I don't know. I think I think the more the more like technology advances, I think I think the better open world games will be, like they'll be even more bigger than before. I guess I kinda I guess it kinda works out for Grand Theft Auto too. Like at the start of Grand Theft Auto, like I think the world was small compared to like number two and then Grand Theft Auto three was a little bit like intense in terms of like in terms of space and in terms of like graphics. Back in the day I mean like if you probably ran Grand Theft Auto three right now, you'd probably get like sixty frames or more on like a really crappy PC. Like mine. Like if you probably ran Grand Theft Auto 3 on my computer, it'd probably run like 60 frames a second. But then when you compare that to like San Andreas, it went a little bit bigger. Um, then Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is. I think it, it is bigger than uh, San Andreas. I'm not too sure. I think they mentioned something about having the map, like, bigger, but... Is it bigger than San Andreas? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself right now. I'm just going loopy. Um, it's getting cold. Oh, that's not good. We should start a fire right now. Okay. Cardboard matches, fire log. Let's... Let's make a fire, because uh, we're freezing our ass off. It's not a good thing. I think once we start this fire, we have about an hour to get some fire logs and stuff like that together. Uh, just want to check the time once we're done starting this fire. There we go. Fire started. This this should keep us warm for about a good hour. Uh, let's let's force some wood here. Just so we can keep burning. Uh, I think let's use hardwood. Let's spend 30 minutes on that. Hopefully we don't take any damage. Okay, that's good. Okay. Let's just, let's just try and keep warm, just for the time being. Um, let's gather two tin tinder plugs. I wish I could just like compound the actions, just like I wanna get tinder plugs, I wanna get softwood, I wanna get hardwood, like just make a list of stuff and it'll do it for you. Okay, let's spend forty minutes on that. And add to the fire. Okay, we got twelve hours. We're not cold, but we're hungry. So what I'm thinking is, uh, we'll drink this. I think we're gonna run out of potable water, which concerns me a little bit. Uh, for thirst, or for food, I think uh, we're gonna cook up pork and beans here. We're gonna use our trusty can opener. And hopefully it'll cook. Where you just you know, we made it in time for lunch. That's even that's even better. Like we made fire and then uh, made it made it just in time for lunch. Okay, so where are my pork and beans? Pork and beans. We're gonna eat that and then I think we're gonna carry on. We haven't even traveled that far yet. Like 
Like from here to that house, I think it was uh, over there somewhere, but like everything's disappearing as we travel out. But uh, I think we're like about a good 500 to a kilometer away from the uh, house. So we're not that far off. We're, we're far, but we're not that far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're still encumbered though. That's, that's, the, that's the dangerous part. But, but as long as we have like warm food and where we just ate some warm food, we should should last good enough to the point where we're not gonna be too cold. But um, I'm hoping that we don't have to survive a night out here because it's gonna get freezing if we if we do. Because it's negative seven and the wind chill is negative six. Air temperature is 21. And our bonuses don't really stack that well. Like, I think at negative four, like, like it's alright as long as you're nice and cozy somewhere with fire. But, like, you'd probably die. You'd probably die in, like, an hour or so. If you weren't wearing, like, proper clothing or something. Like, to me, like, 15 degrees would be would be the point where I put on a jacket or something like that. And put on some warm clothing. Maybe five, put on some uh, winter clothing. And positive 25, I'd probably be like, shirt and shorts. And then 40 degrees, I'm gonna be naked. I'm gonna just walk around naked. Maybe uh, bring a bottle of water with me, but I'd be naked. I'd be like, Fuck the heat. That's a nice little view over there. And it looks like we're coming up on another bridge. It looks like uh, this farmhouse is like surrounded by bridges or something like that. And it looks like there's something over there. Yeah. Looks like a house or something. I think we should check it out. It's a big house. There might be uh, additional food. We could get warm. Maybe take some shelter because it's ball balls cold. It'd be kind of nice though if we can uh, somehow like siphon out gas or from the cars and stuff like that, and then we can like get a car and drive around. There's a deer right there. I want that deer to die. <laughs> I know it's a bad thing to say, but I want that deer to die. That way I can um, repair my boots. I know, because I know my boots are like at 75% condition or something like that. And it's a good idea to pair right about now. I'm just waiting for something to die in front of me so I can scavenge it. It looks like uh, another farmhouse here that we can uh, walk up to. Also a good thing. So far we haven't uh, encountered any dead animals. Which is kind of uh, weird. At the same time, um, I'm okay with that. I'm not mad. Since there's a lot of animals here we can hunt. Hopefully with a gun within the next uh, 80 days. I think by now, in day, in day 20, 22, like if this was like real life, I survived for 20, 22 days in this cold Canadian environment by myself. I think I'd, I think I'd go crazy, just a little bit. Like I, I, I think that's the point where like I start talking to myself. Like of course I'm already talking to myself, but I mean like I, I talk more about myself. I. I just like ramble about random stuff. I just like start talking and talking to people that aren't there. Maybe go a little. Yeah, I'd probably go batshit crazy. Just a little bit. Like maybe around day 40, I'd go batshit crazy. And then day 60, like I'd go even batshit crazy.
Like, like I know, um, I know Mars One has that like whole thing where they're selecting people to go to Mars. But like, I, I would like to see a reality show where it's like actual cabin fever. Like they'll lock you inside a room for a certain amount of days. You can give up whenever you want, but you have to stay in that room as long as you can. They'll provide you food, and you have to do your own laundry inside this place by yourself. But you won't be able to talk to anybody, you won't be able to like, do anything. It will just be like, straight up you inside a room by yourself for as long as you want. But once you give up, like, you give up. And you compete with other people who are doing the same thing. So like, pretty much last person standing. Last person inside the cabin wins, kind of thing. So I'm guessing the this is the farmhouse. I, mean, I guess the other place was just like something else. I guess. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna check the silo first before we enter the enter the house. Just to make sure there's nothing going around going around here. What's that? Like looks like a radio tower of some kind up there. Like, are, are we allowed to go up there? Is that... If we find a road that goes up there, I want to check that out. I want to check that out. Uh, can we go inside? Yeah? No? Maybe? No? Okay. Okay. I understand. I'm cool with that. Hey, there's a doghouse. It's cute. Cute little doghouse. If I can just walk up to it. I hate how I'm always encumbered. Like, I think I've addressed this before, like, I hate it, but at the same time we need the food, we need the equipment. So, being encumbered is a good thing and a bad thing. Like, it keeps us... Ah, oh, that's cool. Like, being encumbered is great, considering that it keeps us alive. But at the same time like it slows us Best down. Be prepared for anything. It slows us down in, like tremendously. Uh, I'm gonna leave all this stuff here. I don't really need it. I have enough cloth. I'm gonna need a pry bar though. Uh, Jerry can. Taking that. Now let's go inside. Go inside the farmhouse. Whoa, this place has been ransacked. Um mm, this will come in handy. Milk. Bottle of water. That's good. I'll uh some raw venison. I think I'm gonna turn on my lantern here. Cause I think it's a little too dark for you guys to see, but so, uh, let's see. Cabinet? I'll take it. No, you won't. You will not take it. On the upside, though, there's a stove off to the side. With a bit of firewood. Uh, anything else here? Tinder plug. Celerant. Wood matches. Hmm. Of course, there's a lot of food mm. in the kitchen, which is uh, good. Okay. Um, I think, I think for the next little while, I think we should uh, camp out here just a little bit, considering that there's a lot of food just laying around. We could probably like survive in here a little bit. Like I, I know the game is designed to like last, like it's supposed to like let you live in a certain place for a definite amount of time, but we can definitely live here quite some time, considering that we brought yeah, our we own food this. and stuff. Like, we don't really have to go outside unless we have to get firewood and stuff, so... I think for the next little while, we might slow down a little bit, considering that uh, we just found a nice, nice place to live. And... We may or may not live here for a little bit. Because this place looks pretty nice. There's... 
There's a nice little fireplace. There's also a wood stove that we can cook on. It's all good. This place is pretty good. Like we might have to live here for a little bit. Like I've I've always wanted to live on a farmhouse. Just for a little bit. Like I I wouldn't like wanna work at at said farm, but like maybe Maybe like like just live there just for a little while. Like of course I I'd, I'd help out around around the farm, but like at the same time like I just wanna I wanna see how farm farm life is compared to city life. Like like I'm that kind of person that wants to like explore everything in the world. Like all the uh, all the interesting things that like I wouldn't really do, and then at the same time like all the things I really like I, I really want to just do it just because yeah, like I could. Useful. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah. I'm talking out of my ass, aren't I? <laughs> uh, let's check the drawers here. Nothing there. Can I take that coffee? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's funny because uh, it's the publisher, uh, the publisher right there, Interland. That's. Uh, yeah, I see what you did there. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm going mad. I am definitely going mad. Some flares. Uh, insulated vest. All right. I'm gonna uh, extinguish this because I think we're wasting a little too much kerosene. Light a match. Looks like um, they had children at one time. By the looks of the uh, blocks. Looks like a children's room. Hopefully uh, this place isn't haunted. It would suck if it was haunted. Probably Gloves, useful. Candy bar. That's a cute little little uh, tractor there. Uh, let's check this room. This is probably like the parents' parent room or something like that. Nope. Yeah, maybe. All right. I think I'm gonna end it off in the parents' room. But uh, next episode. We're gonna continue looking through their drawers and hopefully uh, not find dead bodies of children, because that would be sad and depressing. Because, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.